This video presents an overview of the new ELSA COVID-19 substudy. The ELSA COVID-19 substudy can be seen as an ad hoc study based on the sample of the regular ELSA study. Following the enforcement of a nationwide lockdown in late March 2020 to control coronavirus infections, the ELSA research team, along with other studies in the UK, identified the need to investigate the effects of the COVID-19 crisis on the older population in England. The aim of the study is to understand the experience of the lockdown among older people and whether and how this affected older people's health, finances and social lives. The study is funded by the Economic and Social Research Council via the UK Research and Innovation COVID-19 Rapid Response Call. ELSA respondents were invited to participate in the study at the beginning of June. For those who consented to take part in this unpredicted wave of data collection, fieldwork began in June and was completed on the 26th of July 2020. Given the circumstances, the questionnaire was designed to be administered via the internet, but was also suitable for a telephone interview for those respondents who wanted to take part in the study but could not respond on the internet. This limited the length of the questionnaire and the number of assessment measures included in this survey. Of the 9,392 respondents invited to participate, over 7,000 completed the COVID-19 substudy questionnaire, with 82% of them doing so on the internet. The sample includes core partners. This slide summarises some of the measures collected in the ELSA COVID-19 substudy. Some questions are consistent with previous ones, whereas others were adapted or created anew to capture the experiences of older people during and after lockdown. There were a series of questions about household characteristics, including number of people in the household and whether it had an outdoor space or not. We then had a series of questions specific to COVID-19, including whether respondents were advised to shield, whether they were tested for COVID-19 and had had any symptoms, and if any of their friends and family died of or with COVID-19. Respondents were then asked a number of questions about their mental health and well-being, including CESD depression scale, GAD7 anxiety scale, and CASP19 quality of life, as well as their health conditions, existing and new, and health behaviours, including changes in physical activity, smoking, and sleep. Please note that the item felt sad of the Centre for Epidemiological Depression Scale was only captured for approximately 23% of the respondents. Respondents were also asked specific questions about their employment and financial situation. These questions included measures concerning employment status, whether respondents thought they would be able to get back to work, and whether they were key workers, such as healthcare and transportation workers. Respondents were also asked to report issues about pension, job and food security, as well as worries about finances and employment. Finally, a battery of questions on changes in caring and volunteering were asked, as well as a number of questions about social connectivity, social support and feelings of loneliness. The data have been archived and are now available for research on the UK Data Service. Also, a number of briefing papers based on this first COVID-19 ELSA substudy have recently been released. We are planning to do a repeat set of assessments, most likely starting in November. If you want to know more about ELSA and other information collected in this study, please visit www.elsa-project.ac.uk forward slash training hyphen resources. If you wish to find out more about the ELSA COVID-19 substudy, including sample design, weighting and the questionnaires, please read the relevant documentation on the ELSA website. Thanks for your attention and we hope you'll join the community of ELSA users.